Okay, Itamek sees to go. Good day. It is the afternoon of Wednesday, September 5th, 2018, in the latter part of the lunar cycle, but keep it so it's be when the choke cherries ripen and things are starting to warm up a little bit. Uh, we've had a couple of cold, overcast days here in Lethbridge, Alberta. Well, not cold, but colder. <laughs> and so, uh, work with the snakes kind of slowed down for those couple of days. Work with the skunks has slowed down too, but I think for different reasons. Any case, as things heat up now, the snakes are going to start their migration again over the next few days, so I'm expecting probably a, a, a number of calls, uh, starting with this afternoon's one. This one comes once again from over the bridge at the Lethbridge Country Club, which is... Um, I think this is probably the the most snakes I've picked up in any given year from them. Might even be the most snakes I've picked up in a given year just this month from them. <laughs> or in the last uh, 30 days or so. I don't know. But obviously there was some snakes bedded down through there for the, for the summer in those coolies on the south side. Where they originate from, I don't know. But um, we'll see what we're dealing with, with with today's when we get there. How's it going? Hey, so you got one? Yeah, I'm in the bucket here. Okay. last week yeah because we had probably a close to th I thought it was the same one on two days last week uh, yeah that this the one that we had the first two yeah. that we caught or mm -hmm. the first two that you guys caught in yeah. the last week or so yeah they both kind of had the same kind of pattern in like this one with mm -hmm. a lot of the, the two dots and then just a few of the ribs you know yeah um, and the third one was quite a bit younger and a yeah. little bit different hey yeah no this one looked kind of sim similar and it was a close to the same spot too like within 300 yards of where the first spot was. Where did you get this one? Um, if you had about five, mm -hmm. so 800 Same meters, that's that kind of within about 300 yards. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. So I'll check it. Oh, before I release it. Come on out. South side rattlesnakes are difficult to figure out if there even are, you know, south side rattlesnakes per se. That's still up in the air, really. Um, there might be a little pocket over there, I don't know for sure. I think there is in the scenic heights area, but I don't know for sure. Any case, about a week, a week and a half ago, the migration started and the snake migration. And I picked up a rattlesnake from the Lethbridge Country Club, which we can see just across the river here. It takes up a good stretch, pretty much from one little outlet over there of the oxbow over to this little stream here. So it's a pretty good stretch along the river. I picked up a snake and I didn't ask them which area of the golf club they had, uh, golf course they had taken it from. They just had it in a bucket for me. Uh, so I took it and I assumed that it belonged on this side of the river. So I released it uh, somewhere behind the Ulet Stadium, I believe. 
one or two days later I got another call from the country club I went to look and it looked to me without checking my photos it looked to me like the same snake I was pretty sure it was the same snake given the given the patterning so then I thought oh I brought the snake to the other side of the river and it's just come back over and I actually asked them that time which which part of the golf course did it come from and they said it came from this part right over here okay this this northern end of the golf golf club so I took it up in the coolies just above where they had picked it up um, thinking that that's where it's trying to get back to and I was a little bit you know hesitant to do that because that area is the scenic park the scenic uh, drive you know dog park area um, the dog run but I thought well the snake must belong here it's trying to get back so I released it then I went home and really checked the photo database carefully and it actually wasn't the same snake <laughs> that I had released on this side of the river um, so I waited to see what would happen got a third call from the country club a couple of days ago that one was a smaller snake but that one had been taken from way down at that end of the country club and so I released it in the coolies above that area then this afternoon snake um, I pulled off the side of the road I took a look at it you know really closely after I got out of the country club it's definitely the same snake that I released in the dog run area so it had come back down and I think it's trying to get across the river because it belongs to the den that's just up this way at the University Hall. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do, because it's kind of in the day's heat right now, I'm going to just hike down here where it's kind of low to the river and release him maybe in those choke cherry stands there or something um, where he's got some shade. And, you know, if he doesn't belong on this side of the river, then he's close enough he could get himself across without too much problem. She, I should say, I'm calling him he, but it's a female snake. Hello. Hi, I'm um, Pro Shop at Paradise Canyon. They have a snake in the bucket for you. Oh, okay, I'll stop over there. Thank you. Thank you. Cool, so really had to uh, <coughs> wedge myself into the bush here because we're on kind of a steep slope in order to keep my box in place for this release. <laughs> right in the choke cherries, like I said. Take a quick picture of this girl. Just for the record, dropping you off on the other side of the river now. All right, and we'll let her go. Got a little hike. Go catch the next snake. Come on up. Ooh. Say hello to the camera. Yeah. Here, I'll let you go back here. Back in here. Haven't quite made it to that Paradise Canyon golf course snake yet. It's in a bucket already, but I got another call for one on a driveway, so that's more pressing. I'm going to go take up that one first. Hold on, I'll get a different grip on you. That's a she. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to release this one here in Cottonwood Park. The residence that I grabbed her from is just down the road here, so I'm sure this is where she belongs. Another big healthy female, what it looks like. Sorry I haven't had the bucket cam going. Um, batteries ran out, but I've got another battery in the vehicle, so I'm going to get that started on this next snake.
snake is coming back our way. here this is mine this is my uh, box here you're not you're not taking up shelter in my box <laughs> maybe she smells the snakes in the box let's see what she does let's let her go that way if she wants to go that way <laughs> just bit my box Right mad. there snakey can I finish my job here So I just pulled out of the parking lot from Cottonwood and I've got another call. This one is taking me back across the water over to the Lethbridge Country Club again. <clears throat> They've got a snake on hole 18 and this one they don't want to try to catch themselves. So I'm going to go take care of it. Um, leaving that one down in Paradise Canyon because it's already in the bucket and I know it, they keep in that shady that shady back room with the, where the caddies work so uh, I'm not too worried about that when it can it can sit there for a bit while I work these other snakes that are live so they lost track of the snake out here um, did a little bit of a search for it not seeing it anywhere and uh, hey how goes it <laughs> see ya Old guys had to stop and take a selfie with me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they stopped me earlier and took a selfie <laughs> when I was looking for the snake. Any case, um, yeah, it's a no-go over here, so I'm going to head over to Paradise Canyon and pick up their snake. Yes, this poor snake is pretty cold, I think. If I'd known she was in a bucket that was wet and cold, I would have come get her quick. But um, it's typically not like that. <laughs> Just slow her down a little bit, she'll come back. Try to take her picture here.
leash and then I've got a meeting that I'm supposed to be attending. See if I can get through that without another snake call. I don't know. It's migration day. See ya, honey. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, she's just curling right up in there. <laughs>